Hello world, Techno Sleuth, Craig Chamberlain here. We are running into uh, speed up tip six, and we're gonna discuss today the background intelligence transfer service, also known as BITS, that runs in the background of your PC. BITS was originally created to run automatic updates in the background while you're doing other things. Again, let me throw in the disclaimer for all of you who are working in an office environment and have a network administrator. I strongly recommend you discuss this with them before making any disconnections. You will save them a lot of he headaches, and I'm sure they will be very grateful that you actually talk to them before disabling services. So, what we're going to do is just click Start, click Run. Again, we're going to type services.msc, press Enter. Once your screen comes up, just click on Background Intelligent Transfer Service. It even says, transfer files in the background using idle network bandwidth. Service features stopped. Features such as Windows Update, MSN Explorer will be unable to automatically download programs and other information. Now, if you've been following the series, we disable automatic updates through your control panel, but you'll notice that doesn't disable automatic updates here. Now, you do not want to disable automatic updates here because it will disable the shortcut that we created to Internet Explorer, and your Internet Explorer will no longer be able to download updates in the background. So what we're going to go ahead and do, and you're going to have to bear with me, it's going to sound scary, but we're going to have to create a batch file that will restart the background intelligence transfer service only when we're actually going to run our Windows updates. It's not as intimidating as it sounds. Now, first thing we're going to do, though, is we're going to take the Background Intelligent Transfer Service, right-click, click Properties, and we're going to change it from Automatic to Manual, click Apply, click OK. I'm going to go ahead and stop the service. Now, what this will do is every time I restart the computer, I will have to manually start it. Now, that's a good thing because I only need to start this when I'm doing my Windows updates. So next what we're going to do is we're going to right click on our desktop, we're going to go to New, and then we're going to say New Text Document. We're going to call this Windows Update .bat. It's going to ask you if you're sure you want to name the extension that, and this creates what's called a batch file. Now right click on that and click Edit. And what we need to do is we're going to create an automatic update system that will restart that service in the background when we're running our automatic updates. I also like to add the automatic updates line just in case it got restarted. So what I do is I say net start automatic updates. Make sure you put it in quotations. Below that type net start background intelligent transfer service. Make sure you spell it correctly. And then what we have is we have to enter, like on our other video, our shortcut to our Windows Update service, which is right here. If I right click on my Windows Update and press Properties, it's the system root, which is Windows slash System32 slash WUPDMGR.exe. We need to have that executed after these two services start. Now, I already have that created in my other batch file and all you have to do is put the whole directory in here so wherever that win update manager is on your computer the mines in c colon slash windows slash system32 slash wupdmgr.exe yours is most likely if, if you are running windows xp it is going to be in that place then we're just going to put that right here we're going to say file save and then what we do is when we run windows update 2.bat It'll start, see it checked the first service, it's already running. Second one, it started the bit service, and now it's executing the Win Update Manager. So Internet Explorer opens, and voila, it actually lets you do the run updates. Now, if, if that service wasn't running, running, it would have given you an actual error here, and it would have said, you know, background intelligent transfer service not running. Well, that's pretty much all there is to that. We've created a batch file for updating your, your Windows, and uh, we no longer have to have the background intelligent transfer service actually running in the background. So I can go ahead and disable the service. Let me refresh. And I can disable the service again. And also make sure you swing by my channel and uh, subscribe, 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 and swing by my website, download all the free software we're talking about here, or the cool wallpapers. And I uh, hope this helped you guys out.